Alright guys, so, as you know, Yellowstone had that, um, hydro, uh, explosion, hydrothermal explosion, and it's basically a warning. It's kind of like a, a shot across the bow, God saying, hey, you know, this could happen at any time. Uh, thankfully, no people were injured or hurt. That's God's blessing, protecting all those people from getting hurt at all. No injuries, uh, but the gravel and the pathway were destroyed. Um, pretty much saying, hey, you know, this isn't going to be here forever. This is a message that I'm saying on this video. We are with God every day. He walks with us, he protects us, he guides us. Have a connection with God, talk with him, pray with him, you know, have that conversation every day. With him, good morning, you know, good evening, everything. Have the conversation. He's your best friend. He created you. But there's a warning here. It's not going to be staying the same forever. You know, things are going to start changing. Kind of like the past week. If you, if you look at this, a sampling of the past week. Where the the internet was went down. And, and airplanes were were stranded. Businesses weren't running because of the internet crash that happened uh, because of the that program that happened uh, to basically affect uh, all the Windows computers. So pretty much it's going to be a thing like that. That boom, no internet. Boom, no electricity. Boom, you know, like I've been warning in the previous videos... Um, war with China and Russia out of nowhere. And people say, what's going to, why is Russia and China going to attack the United States? Right now, Russia has over $80 billion that the United States is going to use illegally. And Russia has been saying, you know, don't touch our money. That's our, that's our funds. And the United States could possibly use it. That's not counting all the Ukraine stuff. That's not counting all the things that the United States have been poking the bear with. There's so much going on. China, right now, wants to take Taiwan. There's going to be a hurricane passing by Taiwan. Will they use that to their advantage? Who knows? There's so many possibles. And so many things that could possibly happen. And we're going to be gone like this in the twinkling of an eye. While people are trying to figure things out. Out of nowhere. People are going to be doing their everyday task. And boom. Power grid gone. And then boom. Rapture. Or it could be rapture. And then power grid gone. And nobody knows exactly the order of things. But from what Chris Epsep said. Boom. EMP. And then like. A couple of days, either one day or two, and these swirls appear in the sky, and they're portals, and pretty much you get pulled up, you get turned into an orbital light, and you get pulled up into uh, these um, swirls in the sky. The rapture could happen in many ways, and the thing that I'm trying to get to you guys to 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 pay attention to is Jesus Christ loves you. He loves you so much, he wants you to go home to be with him in heaven. Because the next seven years are going to be heck on earth. Heck on earth. It's going to be horrible. I'm not going to go into everything that's going to possibly happen, but it's pretty bad. Pretty bad. So, what I'm saying is get saved. Accept Jesus Christ as Savior. Believe in him. Read Bible verses every day if you can. And talk to Jesus. He will guide you and determine your steps. Alright, this video is getting a little bit long. Four minutes. But uh, that's it. Get saved. Bye.